I tried to get back for days and days. There, there, lie quiet now. You just had a bad dream. Sure. Remember me? Your old pal, Hunk? Oh. <laughs> me? <laughs> Hickory? You couldn't forget my face. But it wasn't a dream. It was a place. And you, and you, and you, and you were there. Oh. <laughs> Trash Flashback. I'm your host, Maximus Underwood. Today on White Trash Flashback, I'd like to show you some of my special, my favorite, uh, I should say, scenes from one of my favorite movies of all time, as far as white trash films go. Deliverance, of course, and if you haven't seen it, well, sit back, grab a TV dinner, uh, set the wife beaters aside, because it's, it's really a family-oriented show, and sit back, take a deep breath, enjoy. Talk about genetic deficiencies. Isn't that pitiful? Who's back in the banjo here? Hmm. Well, in case you uh, went to band camp in the Ozark Mountains, then this next scene will be very familiar to you, especially the instruments that the young man is playing. A handsome man, I must say. Enjoy this. It's one of my favorite Burt Reynolds films, if not my only favorite Burt Reynolds film. This is, uh, hmm, what was it? It's, uh, oh, Smokey and the Bandit. Sit back. If you finished your little dessert tray on your TV dinner or whatever, have a popsicle, whatever you people do in your trailers. And here we go. Let's let's watch it. Good look at his pants. Ooh, look at that. He has a nice package. Mm-mm. That's great psychology. Why don't you just say something bad about my mother? Oh. Hurt Reynolds. Does it to me every time. Sorry. Ooh, is it hot in here or was that Hurt Reynolds? Mm -hmm. Did you see his package? I Package? What? Huh? Oh, uh, the mailman. <laughs> well, anyways. Boy, can that man's cannonballs run, huh? Hmm. Wow, did you see this? He wears some tight pants. I believe they're a size uh, four. Women's? I don't know. Well, let's get into the next clip. What do you think? Okay, very good.
Hey, want a beer? <laughs> well, sure. Redneck heaven. How are we going to loan all this stuff, though? How loaded with this? You can't drive a fork, man. You know I can drive any fork and take around. <laughs> <laughs> when you get serious, hey, no, I'm going to the hell. Hell. All right, just eat. You know what? I, I just, hold it. Just, the beer, watch the beer. <laughs> very funny, very funny. I thought it was funny. Hey, we really ought to pay somebody for that mess we made in there. You just leave a note, tell the folks to send the bill to Big Enos Burdett. Send bill to Big Enos Burdett. Burdett, B. B R B U R. B. Hell, I've got to go. Were you ever in trouble with the law? Were you white trash? Well, then maybe this scene will ring bell. Hold up on that car wash, gentlemen. Come here, son. Whoops. That's an attention getter. So, you have a, you have a guy you have a dog and a Trans Am. What else do I say? What else should I say? We get caught. That's what I say. Looks like we're about 28 minutes ahead of schedule. Come back. I hate to say I told you so. Well, now don't lose your head, son. We still got a lot of boogie to do. Now put the pedal to the metal. I'm 10 10 on the side. For sure, for sure. Me and Fred here. We got your back door, ain't we, Fred? In assembling this show, I have studied white trash extensively, and I would have to say that this man is white trash. Trust me, honey. Now look here. Who twists your spine till it feels like jelly and heats your blood till it's boiling wine? Who splits your heart in a zillion pieces? Shaft. Maybe he'll blow your mind. Mm -hmm, he sure will. Well, who blinds your eyes with a trillion kisses and rocks you deep and turns you tired, cracks your back in a billion pieces? Hmm? Shaft! Baby, you'll blow your mind. The man's trouble, he's been to my house. Oh, now he's a smooth cat and knows where it's at. A bad speed, don't pull your blade. A super brother, a gone mother, a cool dude, and shovels his food. John Shaft. Get us some coffee, Cooper. You're talking to me, Captain. What do you want me to do, sing? Get the coffee, man. Make mine black, honky-ass cracker. You didn't have to say that to Cooper. Something just came over me, Captain. I'm really ashamed. This is, the, this is the time in the show where I like to do a joke. So, there's two muffins in an oven, and it's really hot in there. And one muffin says to the other muffin, Oh, boy, it's hot, getting hot in this oven. And the other muffin says, Holy shit, a talking muffin. <laughs>